Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Parts Talk. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now today we're going to be talking about the list of major events that has affected the car manufacturing industry in the last 20 years, along with their negative impacts. But before we get into this, please hit that like button so I can get more views on the algorithm and also to subscribe so that you'll be notified when I drop a new video. I drop a new video every single week. So in this list, and it's not by chronological order or any order of importance, but number one, we're going to be starting out with the global financial crisis of 2008. Most of us will never forget that the financial crisis led to a significant decline in customer spending and a decrease in demand for new cars, resulting in reduced sales and financial difficulties for many automakers. Bernie Madoff came to mind and the $50 billion Ponzi scheme that affected global financial markets right across the world and had a ripple effect. Number two, we have natural disasters. Various natural disasters such as earthquakes and tsunamis have disrupted the car manufacturing supply chains. For example, the earthquake and tsunami in Japan in 2011 caused severe disruptions to the production of Japanese automakers and their global supply chains. Toyota and Honda, Mazda, Mitsubishi all come to mind. They had to scale back because of what happened right there and then. Then we have Dieselgate scandal of 2015, Volkswagen. The scandal involved in Volkswagen alleged manipulation of diesel engine emissions tests led to a loss of consumer trust in the company and negatively impacted the entire automotive industry. So the sales of diesel vehicles declined during that time and the regulatory scrutiny increased, leading to a financial penalties and reputational damage for that particular brand. Volkswagen is slowly coming out of that, but for those of us who are in the automotive industry, we will always remember them. But by all means, they do have some very great cars in their lineup. Now, we also have, not number four, trade wars and tariffs. Trade disputes and the imposition of tariffs on automobiles and auto parts have created uncertainty and increased costs for car manufacturing during that time. So this had led to reduced sales, disrupted supply chains, and increased production costs. The United States versus China and somewhat Canada also fell into that fight along with the tariff wars that was going on. Now, we go to the big one that we're just coming out of. At number five, we have the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020. The pandemic resulted in widespread lockdowns and reduced customer spending, causing a significant decline in global automotive sales. Production shutdowns, supply chain disruptions, and reduced consumer confidence had had a major negative impact on the automotive car manufacturing industry. In particular, some people are still waiting even after six months to take delivery of a vehicle that they made a deposit on. And the list goes on based on what has happened. We had the lockdown. We suffered through it. Also imposed the vaccines. A lot of people also protested against that. And the list goes on. Number six, the shift to electric vehicles. Who can forget that time was also used to regularize and mandate electric vehicles going forward by the various Western governments. The growing demand for electric vehicles, EVs, required automakers to invest heavily in research. I have growing demand here, but alas, some of it was basically imposed on us. The development, manufacturing, and infrastructures were for EVs was also pushed forward and this transition has presented financial and operational challenges tra for traditional automakers, particularly in terms of retooling production facilities and developing new technologies. We have seen Ford, GM, Honda and a lot more other automakers trying to do that as well as starter companies also went under because they simply cannot cope and compete with legacy automakers. Number seven, we have the rise in raw material prices. The global pandemic also led to that. Increases in the prices of raw materials such as steel and aluminum have put pressure on automakers' profit margins. Higher material costs can lead to increased vehicle prices, reduce profitability, and potential challenges in maintaining competitiveness. And also coming in at number eight, who can forget chip shortages? 
The global shortage of semiconductor chips in recent years have severely impacted the automotive industry. Automakers have faced production disruptions and reduced vehicle output due to the inability to secure adequate supply of critical chips used in various electronic components of vehicles. At one point, Ford was also eliminated heated seats in order to utilize the chips elsewhere to get the production costs going. Number nine, we have one that is called Brexit that was echoed all across Europe and also the globe. The United Kingdom's decision to leave the European Union known as Brexit has created uncertainty and challenges for the automotive industry. So the UK's exit from the EU, single market and customs union introduced trade barriers and regulatory changes for that country and it impacted supply chains, exports and investment decisions. A lot of companies bypassed the UK because they deemed it too expensive for operational costs. So the uncertainty surrounding Brexit also led to reduce customer confidence and investment in the UK's automotive sector. Number 10, which is last but not least, the shift towards shared mobility and autonomous vehicles. So the rise in shared mobility services such as ride hailing and car sharing platforms Uber and Lyft come to mind, along with the advancement in autonomous vehicle technology is reshaping the automotive industry as we speak. So the traditional car manufacturers are faced with the challenge of adapting their business models to embrace these new trends or risk being left behind. The shift has the potential to disrupt the traditional sales and ownership model, impacting in the overall demand for new vehicles and requiring automakers to invest in new technologies and partnership. We've seen how Tesla also introduced a new model where we have manufacturer direct to consumer. That is an ongoing fight as some of the legacy automakers want to get in on that. Tesla, Rivian, Ford also want to adopt that model. And also, you can throw Lucid into that mix. It's important to know that the impacts can vary among different automakers and regions, depending on their exposure and resilience to these effects. So all of these resulted in two major situations. Number one, people started to hold on to their older cars longer as a result of high inflation and high interest rate costs that we're currently facing. And two, mechanic shops, dealerships, garages, and private repair technicians saw an upsurge in business as well as private part shops. So... Whenever something else goes wrong, somebody else also benefits and it is the result of cause and effect. If you know of any that I've missed, please feel free to list them below in the comments. Let me know your thoughts as well. Remember to grab a copy of my ebook, The Parts Manager Guide. Please smash that like button on your way out. It will only take you 1.5 seconds to do so. Until next time.